Computer viruses, fundamentals of my YouTube channel. They can be annoying, boring, scary, funny or even very dangerous. And in today's video, I'm gonna write all 25 malwares of any kind. Let's start with a memes.exe created by Lewrak. It would be disappointed to not mention memes. Memes version is one of the most famous malwares on the internet. If you don't know about memes, you've probably never typed the word computer virus on YouTube. After executing the memes version, the text file document will pop up with line your computer has been fucked by the memes trojan. Next payload open a random URL addresses with some script kiddie questions like how to remove virus. Meanwhile, there is also a chance that the memes will open random system applications such as task manager, registry, editor and so on. After a while everything goes wild. Weird text box messages pop up. Mouse is going to be chased by error icons. When we wait long enough, we can experience what is called chaos because the screen will be eaten by rapid tunnel effect. At the end, after every a reboot, new master boot record is going to be displayed with small animation of neon cat which is flying into space. Such a unique concept. Meme is going to do a legend tier because it brought a cool idea how computer viruses can be actually fun to run. Of course in the safe environment. 000.exe is a creepypasta trojan horse made by Flytech. After execution dark images will occupy the entire screen. Few seconds later systems restarts. Username get changed need. Thousands of text files show up with title you are next. Every second error message boxes pop up with line run away and that's everything what this malware do. Well in the 2015s it was something but nowadays I don't know it looks boring and it's not even that malicious. It just all writes some registry values and run after every startup. I'm gonna put it into D tier because it's boring as hell. No escape the DXC made by Enderman. Not this one. Yeah, this Enderman. Another creepypasta Trojan horse changes the wallpaper and restarts immediately. After reboot, random accounts going to be created, including one special with name No Escape. By typing dev on No Escape account, you can go through. As in the 000.exe, a lot of files will be placed across the desktop. Another special feature is that only a few keystrokes can be pressed. Opening a CMD and regret it is not possible. To see other payloads, you need to change the date to the specific. First payload is on the 21 of October and it's called Icon Dance. The second, 13 of January, limited execution with message Fred Durst says no computer today silly boy go outside to play. 9 of March, I call this payload blackout because it turns the screen to pitch black. 18 of September, final payload which writes text in the notepad and blocks the user input. This is the most complex payload of all of them. At the end, over the master good record occurs. I like this malware but I also think that there could be more things. If you don't know, it took the author 6 months to create the no escape. Like if it was made in 1 month, I wouldn't say anything but 6 months for this. He's even a software engineer. I expected way more payloads but anyway, it's a still cool malware so B tier. Monoxide.exe created by YPAT. It's a vivid malware which contains crazy amounts of GDI payloads. Simply put it contains a lot of flashy images. Cursed message box occurs with line terrible decision and the the rest is the intense audio with flashy stuff. Meanwhile, the master wood record is already cooked and files from all drives have been wiped out. During its process, it also opens random system programs, moves with other windows, randomly uses mouse input, changes titles to gibberish. At the end, as usual, it overwrites master wood record. This one is definitely going to the S tier, no doubt. Beautiful GDI effects with the audio turns this malware to an art. By combining payloads like the mouse input, window movement with the rest brings the malware to another level. MrBeast.exe created by Exlon. As you probably guess, author was inspired by the famous YouTuber MrBeast. Window pop up with a timer, weird text and fake MrBeast. Random icon show up with screen glitches like inverting the screen colors and changing the screen size. It also disabled task Manager. When the time runs out, system will crash. Master boot record all rides with custom message. Not a masterpiece, but it's funny, I guess. What I don't like is that it is not well made, and to even run it, you need to drag an audio file next to the malware, which is not a good idea. I like the concept, but it could be at least more optimized. C tier. Banzi Buddy. This one wasn't supposed to be a malware, but rather a desktop assistant. However, it turned out that it is a spyware, which is a type of malware intended for 
for stealing data. Nowadays, Bunzi Buddy doesn't have any malicious payloads because it is no longer supported. Yes, it has some features like tell a joke or sing a song, but these are not the payloads. And for some reason, it asks for a personal data including home address. That's nuts. As a kid, I was horrified by this annoying purple gorilla, but now it is not a big deal. The software is well made, but as a malware, it's kind of boring. T tier. Chill Windows, programmed by Game Lester. Tiny EXE application, not actually a malware. We can call it a harmless malware if that's a thing. It rotates the screen and then play a video. That's it. No master boot, no encryption, no GDI. There is not even a blue screen of death. Back then it was a cool piece of work, nowadays it kinda sucks. The video wasn't even created by Game Lester, so D tier. Desktop Goose Malware, quote unquote malware, made by some person. It's a desktop assistant inspired by Bunzi Buddy. So what it does? Drags the mouse, displays memes, make noise, can write stuff. Does a mess. Very cool assistant, but it doesn't include any malicious payloads, it was made just for fun. I'm gonna put it into B tier. Hysterium, created by Naked Pet. It displays some cool GDI effects along interesting audio. Changes text to gibberish for all windows, and that's pretty much it for the desktop demonstration. At the end, it overwrites master boot record with this cool ass HLS animation with interesting line. Even when you reboot, you cannot escape this insanity. When it comes to malware like this, I always say digital piece of art. Everything is well done. I love how effects displays according to the audio. It looks very nice. I would love to demonstrate by myself. Unfortunately, it will probably never happen. What a shame it's not publicly available. Definitely A tier. Solaris, created by the same author. Another malware that must be mentioned is Solaris. In total it has 15 payloads. It's intended only for Windows XP. On other systems it crashes. It's a wild malware. Amazing GDI effects along insane audio. It overrides master boot record with these animations. The final payload is actually a 3D game, that's nuts. In fact, this is the best malware, nobody have ever created better GDI malware, which is insane. It took the author 3 months, I honestly don't understand how is that possible. Definitely goat tier. X.exe, created by NotReal96. Creepypasta malware, well, it's supposed to be, but it's not that scary as it sounds. By author's words, he was inspired by Mrs. Major Trojan. Just fun fact, this is the author's first malware, and don't worry, it doesn't contain any jump scares and no, no boobs, sorry. It restarts the computer because of some changes in registry. Background changes to the red one, similar effect like in a no escape, and let some X letters dance across the screen. It contains so-called application blocker. Yes, I came up with the term. It prevents to run any other application except some system once. If simple message, there is no escape. When you hit restart button, you will suffer from red smiley face blue screen of death. Actually, red screen of death. There could be done more payloads instead of a few restarts and application blocker for the first malware, I must say that it's actually cool. Not so scary, not that impressive, but I like it anyway. Solid beat here. Windows XP Horror Edition, created by Wubi Chip. Okay, this one is not like the previous one. As a kid, I shitted my pants when I saw it, because it contains jump scares and intense sounds. First thing that happened after execution is the Windows XP update. Not real one, of course. The process failed because the file ntdll.dll couldn't be copied, but don't worry, this update came up with alternative, which is 666.system, which believe me or not, can fix everything, it can even boost your computer. No, I'm just kidding, it does the opposite shit, like turn everything to red, gives you a static jump scare, brings your PC to the hell, then another jump scare, scary images, glitches, another jump scare, plays a video called The Sad Man, created by Jake Lava, then it asks you if you want to destroy your system, jump scare, red screen of that, which is... <laughs> Of course fake. At the end, Master Boot Record gets overwritten with this unsettling image. One of the horror malwares which can genuinely scare you. Really cool malware. Original work. The code is even well optimized. Legend tier. Oh my god, the DXE created by Kore 533. This is another harmless malware which is based on idea from chilled windows. This one only includes one payload and that's a video clip that this malware display.
Well, what can I say about it? Almost nothing. At least the music sounds funny. I don't even know why people like it. For me, it's just a silly joke. D tier. Petia ransomware. Petia was made in 2016. It was spreading through email attachments. Petia is a type of ransomware that encrypts master boot record. When the Petia is running, it will immediately search for the connected hard drives and devices on the local network. Later on, the blue screen of death appears and after reboot, all written master boot will be shown with fake check disk. Then the deadly school will be displayed with flashes. The only reason why I mention this particular ransomware is that it contains payloads like payloads in master boot record which is cool, isn't it? Even though it was built for malicious purposes, I like it. It's scary and very effective. And yes, as a kid I was horrified by it. Pit A the DXC created by Hesfire. Author was inspired by Naked Pet's Solaris GDI malware. As other GDI malwares, it displays GDI effects and intense sounds. Another thing is that it can block a task manager. As you can see, it affects also other windows across the screen. After a while, it crashes and ends with a master boot record payload. It might look quite impressive, but if you dig deep into the source code, you will realize that it contains junky code. Big part of payloads are skidded from other creators without even mentioning them. Sounds which you could hear are used from Solaris. They are not even generated. The malware just play a pre-recorded audio. That's why the file size is large. I also remember when people were disappointed when I made a video about this specific malware. That video brought a lot of negativity, not gonna lie. This one goes to the skit tier, it's really bad. Now, this malware Trichlo trichloromethane.x created by Pancoza. After execution, malware shows GDI immediately together with intense sounds and random mouse movement. Sounds are generated in a small program called ByteBeat. Specifically, this malware generates PCM audio as a function of time. We can see GDI effects like RGB quote, geometrical objects, flashy stuff, HLS and fractals. Everything ends with weird blue screen of the message and whatever this is. Looks amazing, right? Unfortunately, that what you have seen was skidded piece of shit. Despite all of the positive reviews, it contains stolen code. Fortunately, some people wrote the truth. Take a look. Unironically, he even pretended to not be a skidder. Like, what is difficult to tell the truth, Pankoza? At least you should mention the original creator of the specific payload. You should stop doing this shit, man. It's not fair to the original creators. I don't even believe that you are even proud of your work. Skid tier, horrible. Scorpion virus created by Arab Tech. One of the iconic malware is a Scorpion virus. It was mentioned in one of the Siam Alam's FMV series, which later made the malware popular. The first thing that you're gonna encounter is so called screen locker. Basically, what it does, it occupies the entire screen with a window to block any input outside of it. It's very easy to make, by the way. Task manager is also disabled. If you are lucky and if you know the password, you can go through. Every restart will get the same window. The only way is to remove it from the register editor in the save mode. During the infection, we'll hear this beautiful music which makes the atmosphere much darker. Despite the fact that this malware is only a screen locker with a few payloads, it has a cool aesthetics and for that time it was something. My older me was terrified by it, so I think solid B tier. Author of course noticed that he should improve the malware and that's why he created a new version called Scorpion Virus 2.0.dxc. Same idea, after execution the malware changes some registry values and restarts the system. When the user enters the desktop, the entire screen will be occupied by a Scorpion installer, which installs all necessary files for the malware. Later on, new Scorpion logo appears with animated message, oops, your computer has been locked and all your files have been encrypted. You cannot do anything, just cry. That stuff. Attempts for running applications like Task Manager will trigger a screen with an old Scorpion lock screen. After 30 seconds, the system is gonna be locked for good. The author made a lot of changes. I like how he add the custom installer for it. It looks cool. I'm not sure if it contains more destructive payloads such as Master Boot Record or Writer, System Corruption and so on. Because Siam Alam didn't show what happens after reboot and when I was trying to find the answer elsewhere, I failed because nobody else recorded a video about this specific version. What a shame, let's move on. Wait, I almost forgot. 
B tier. The final version of this malware is Scorpion Virus 3.0, again created by Araptech. The idea is same, creeps out the victim and make much destructions as possible. After a few seconds, video with a static mess show up. Next, the familiar Scorpion school face appears, which tells you that welcome to Scorpion Virus and pillows it says, your computer is dead. Background music is finally back. Amazing. The background looks like a hell, not gonna lie. Meanwhile, some system files have been wiped out, so after reboot the computer will face with blue screen of death simulator. This version brought more destruction with improved aesthetics. I like how each version looks more insane, very good malware. Author brought a cool idea for other creators, especially me. Yes, my old malware Blue School is one of the inspired pieces. Legend tier. Terrabonus.exe, programmed by Copy Pace. What a goofy name. Anyway, Terrabonus is one of the underrated malwares, which is worth of mentioning. The author was inspired by Monoxide, a GDI malware created by Vipet. It starts with a weird aesthetic dialog box, more GDI payload displays with intense sounds. Another interesting feature is hiding the taskbar. Random system icons occurs. Some geometrical objects appears. As is usual, in these malwares it ends with blue screen of death and overwritten master wood record. Some people think that the creator skidded the code from Monoxide, but I think he was just strongly inspired. Very impressive payloads. Let's put it into A tier, just because of the cool effects. Psychosomatic.exe, created by Itzen. It's author's latest malware, and by his words, it is the best malware that he ever made. It can create hooks in order to prevent any program to terminate the malware. The main difference between usual GDI malwares and this is that Psychosomatic use different system of rendering called layered windows. Immediately malware start with these cool ass fractals together with intense sounds. At the end, the master wood record is all written with this crazy animation. I don't want to go through all payloads. If you are really curious, you can watch my video about Psychosomatic. Psychosomatic brought GDFX to limits. This one definitely deserves more attention. It took him two months to create it. Don't forget to support his channel. Absolutely S tier, no doubts. Mrs. Major, aka Bozda Major, the DXC, created by Electro Burke. Now I would like to move on another creepy pasta malware. Mrs. Major was also pushed by Siam Alam channel in 2017. -s and even nowadays it is still well known malware on YouTube. As a kid I love it. After execution it creates a bunch of text files on the desktop, attempts to start an audio via Windows Media Player and then it restarts the system. When you finally enter the desktop, wallpaper with school appears together with changed icons and even school mouse cursor. That's nuts. Scary image of doll pop up and plays the lovely audio. How the malware ends? Well. No wise, it just loops. Well, it's not that special, it looks pretty amateurish to me. However, I must admit that the idea was cool B tier. Now I would like to introduce Mrs. Major 2.0. The malware is very similar to the previous one, but with improved aesthetics and functionality. It starts with creating empty exe files on the desktop. It clutters the screen with Mrs. Major creepy images. After reboot, wallpaper is removed and exe icon is changed to devil or whatever it is. I cannot forget to mention this animated eyeball cursor. It looks so cool. Then the window appears with the known Mrs. Major. In this version, she even brought some rules for us, such as do not run task manager, do not delete any virus files. Breaking of the rules or shutting down the computer causes red screen of death. Much creepier than the first version. I like the new design and the functionality. So far, so good. A tier. And finally, the latest version is 3.0, which brings more functions such as unique keylogger, which search for forbidden phrases like antivirus. It changes the wallpaper, then restarts the computer. Later on, it welcomes the user with bloody doll surrounded by bloody particles. It displays a blood bar. If the bar runs out, the wall system will crash. Also, new background music has been changed. When the blood is out, system crashes and after restart it displays all written logon UI. Fixing the logon UI causes master boot record or writer as author mentioned. I must say that this version has improved a lot, especially the keylogger is very interesting idea which I might implement in my future projects. This one goes to the S tier, very impressive. Repco Anada.exe, created by Sclerosis and Deep Freeze. It was inspired by the famous no escape.exe creepypasta malware. After execution it disables UAC for everyone. Change 
change the system colors and then it restarts the system. As a first, we gonna encounter multiple gibberish accounts across the screen with only one left called get. When we enter the get account and we type rect, we can go through. Later on, we are welcomed by intense GDI payloads, unfortunately without any sounds. Another thing is that it blocks any non-system applications. I will not show all payloads. If you are really keen on, check out the full video about the Repcoana. And of course, it all writes the master boot record with message even when you reboot you cannot escape of repquana.exe now enjoy the screen amazing gdi payloads in my opinion the downside of this malware is is that it doesn't include any sound effects which makes the malware a little bit boring but just a little very well made malware if they include sounds i would put it into s tier but it didn't happen so at least a tier well, and that's it. These are all 25 malwares. Tell me in the comments what do you think. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.